Hello everyone, all you Jordy pieces of shit. Welcome back to Radix Symposium, episode 3, with your host, Jordan, and your other host... Hold on first, why did you say oh, episode 3? I thought I said episode 7. You said episode 3? Not 7? Are you, you serious? Episode three. What the fuck? It's episode really? 7. It's supposed to be episode I 7. I said episode 7. I heard you say episode 3. Then let's do it again. Okay. Uh, it's still recording, you know. Why wow, are you gonna cut that part out? No. No. You are we really not gonna restart this? No. Why the f Okay. Okay, then. okay, anyway. Okay, fine, it's really taking too much time. Anyway, I'm the other host. Let's restart. Kodo. No, we are restart. You, we are not restart. you can't you can't you can't just go Continue like this after we literally had a humongous point of the introduction where I just went, wait, what? I said three. But I find this funny. <laughs> I find this serious. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hello. Hello. So, whoa, 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 okay, shit. What the okay. fuck happened to me? Yeah. Ooh, anyway. That was scary. Anyway, so, I, that was yes. I'm the other host, yes. Kodo, and this is episode seven. Not three, motherfuckers. Not three. So seven. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I seem to be very interested in the number three now. I guess it's because Why? it's it, it comes out. I guess it's because it comes out of the mouth of my mouth so fluidly. Three, episode three, episode. If you say any other fucking number, it sounds like shit. Say episode three. Oh, amazing. What? A nice heck? feeling. This is all. No, that was a fucking you... joke. That was a fucking joke, you piece of shit. Yeah, speaking so now, this, now. <laughs> speaking about obsessing with a number, I remember there is a movie about obsessing with a number. What the heck kind of movie is that? Uh, if Speak I remember up. correctly, it's called 21. Again? It's called? 21. The movie. Hello? Hello? Did you mute your fucking mic again? No, no I didn't. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway. Oh no, don't tell me it's my fucking internet. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. What? Good? It's fine, I can hear you yeah. fine. God damn it. The, the microphone mute like itself again. Sake, you were literally. Oh the my goodness, I'm gonna fucking again. jump out of the building. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Jesus fuck. You know, God might as well be stopping us from this recording right now. A th thunder, lightning might as well strike my laptop just so he could stop this fucking podcast. Wait, that's... I would not be fucking surprised. I don't know why the, my microphone keeps muting by itself. Is it pushed to talk or something? No, it's not. It's all Okay, now that's even fucking weirder. Oh, well. Okay. In any case, what In now? <laughs> In yeah, I was going to say, speaking of obsessing with a number, I remember there's a movie about obsessing with a number. Yes, and I asked you what the name of the movie was because I didn't hear it properly. 23. 23. Ooh, that's an interesting. I, I so what, is he it. obsessed with the number? Is what? So, oh, you didn't watch it? I didn't watch it. You, but I remember it you just, because I see the trailer on the TV. About a guy obsessing over the number 23? 23. 23? Yes. Oh wow! That's and a few months ago, I looked it up. I looked up the Wikipedia page to see why is this and the about. reviews and the reviews were shit. Yes, the Did reviews. You know, shit. The review? oh, okay, the reviews. Were shit. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the Wikipedia page to see what this movie is about. Apparently, and what did you learn? He really? obsessed with the number twenty-three because he used to be a he's an amnesiac. 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 Amnesiac okay. murderer. Amnesiac. Amnesiac, An amnesiac murderer. murderer. And he maybe okay. he used the number 23 to do something to make himself forget about it. But since he sees the number again, he suddenly oh. remembers it again. And he gets sad over the fact that he, used, he has killed people. That's the movie. Oh, wow. According to the Wikipedia plot. Huh, that's pretty interesting. A bit nonsensical in the grand scheme of things, but I am interested. But the review is bad. <laughs> no, but the reviews are bad, yes, I suppose. 
I might also just read what the fuck Wikipedia has. That could tell me everything. You know, like what Wikipedia is. Yeah, most you, most of the time. Uh, do you read yep. Wikipedia stuff regularly? Yeah, I do read Wikipedia. I do read Wikipedia stuff. Yeah, I mean, I Wikipedia is. Me too. I suppose it's not the most reliable, but at the very fundamental basis of it all, you might as well fucking refer to it. Not in like official work, but you know, everyday stuff. You might as well just look around. I mean, I found I found some pretty good movies just browsing around uh, Wikipedia. Oh, I don't I don't do that. Yeah. Oh wow, no, because I was looking I was looking for some law movies or something like that, and I found this move this comedy. Called, uh, it's a pretty old one actually. Like, I think nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties. Law. A law movie. Yes. Is it as a like a court? Like a court? What? As <laughs> attorney. What? The- no, what the fuck? <laughs> He's attorney, no! <laughs> That's the oh, only law, lawyer thing I know. That's the only law thing you know. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's it's this movie called My Cousin Vinny. My Cousin yeah. Vinny. Vinny. Oh. V-I-N-N-Y. Yeah. Okay. It's basically basically about this lawyer who's trying to who's trying to help his cousin get out of uh get out of some some char- some murder charges. And? But he's not the murderer, and? so he's like trying to get him out of it. Oh, and the and the comedy is all based on the fact that he is the lawyer, the lawyer guy, yeah, who is the, like the main character of the movie, is not a very good lawyer at first because but... you know he he just got out of law school, he has never gone through court, and he literally fumbles in court. That's that's where the supposedly funny part starts, I guess. Okay, it was a pretty good movie actually. I actually watched it twice because it was Ooh, so good. Nice. Well, in my opinion. But wait, hold on first. Fuck because... me, your mic is muted again. I am gonna shoot myself now. I'm sorry. This is haunted. Whoa, 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 my okay, my computer, okay. my PC is haunted. You can <gasps> mute by yourself. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We need to toss the fucker in the fires. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Then we do not no. toss him in the fires. I don't want to get a new PC. I'm content with this. Okay. How anyway, old is he anyway? It's like two years old. Eh, not that bad. Yeah. Why is it dying now? No, or I Or is mean, it Steam that's... Maybe it's Steam's fault. Yeah, yeah could might, might as well be Steam's fault. We, yeah, I mean, we, we are using shitty Steam chat to do this. Yeah, because we could be using guy, Discord, because but Discord, Discord is a piece of shit. Voice. Yeah, Discord is a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, I was gonna say, yeah, there's a video I yeah. watch about lawyer. He try he reacts to the episode one of S Atongi, Atongi, the anime. Legal Eagles. Yes. Oh, Legal Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> so he yeah, I've, rea- I've seen him. So he reacts to the first episode. So first episode, he say lawyers don't try to act as the lawyers for people who are close to them because to prevent the emotions to... Yeah, to, to prevent a conflict of interest basically. Yeah. There's always a chance that you know the lawyer will not be very impartial. You become very emotional. Yeah, because Dude. they are depending on someone close to them. Yeah. So why is the movie you mentioned is about a new lawyer trying to defend his cousin? I don't really know why that one was okay. I suppose it could just be because of the fact that, hmm, I don't know. I think it doesn't really explain it in the movie at all. No, or maybe no, no, no. If I remember correctly, I think the character literally doesn't pose as his cousin. He is his cousin, but, but when he talks to like the judge, who is you know, I, I guess overseeing some of the stuff, he talks without saying, "Oh." I just got out of law school. No, he he puts himself in like a new. He's like, oh no, don't worry. I've been in the courts for like years. I go under like this name, all that shit. He's not. Wait, but so how I suppose do people... he. Oh, what? go on first. You go on first. No, no, no. What was your question? Because I just yeah, lost because... my flow. Were you? <laughs> so if that's so, then people should have recognized him, because he has been in the court multiple times. No, you need to understand. You need to under. I suppose there's also a need to understand. Lawyers usually stick to one. In my opinion, it seems like lawyers don't really move around. 
So it's a bit hard for people to actually see them in every court. And besides, there's also a need to understand that, well, there are a lot of different courts out there. I guess like one for every city, one for every town, I guess. So of course, nobody's going to recognize him. And of course, even if they look around for his actual court documents, he could always find, he always finds a way to like excuse himself out of it. In the movie? Yes, in the movie. Oh. He, excuse, he finds a way to excuse himself out of it by saying, oh, that's not actually my name. I changed my name. And then later on, he goes, oh, no, no, that's not how you spell my name. This is how you spell my name. <laughs> and that, that's, how he, that's literally how he excuses himself. How he tries to like wiggle out of the of you know getting proce- getting literally prosecuted by the judge for I guess posing as a fake lawyer. Nice. Nice. Yeah, okay. Mm, pretty good uh, movie. Speaking about lawyers, I just remember that yeah? I used to watch the first season of Better Call Saul. Better Saul. Call Oh, yeah, I- I've heard of it, but I've never really watched it. I haven't watched so a lot have, of these kinds of shows. Have you watched Breaking Bad at first? No. Do you know what is I have Breaking no- Bad? Yes, I know what Breaking Bad is. Yes. Okay. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, about. Okay, in Breaking Bad, you know, it's about a, a high school chemistry teacher. He tries to sell drugs. Yeah, some bad drugs. He manufactures yeah, manufact- meth and sells meth. So basically, in nice. season two, he employs a new lawyer. Ooh. And Better Call okay. Saul is a. Uh, Spin off prequel that is about that lawyer. Oh wow! Really? Holy shit! Yes. And cool. season one, and season, I don't remember much of it, but I remember mm-hmm. very well. Like season one is very slow paced. It just show that the lawyer has a very shitty life. And so basically, an estab- an establishing sort of season to talk about you know his condition and shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it just okay. show establish like. How and what kind of person he is, and how is his life, and you, you see it and introduce the characters, and you can show that and see that he is a very, he's a lawyer that has very, uh, he doesn't get good clients, and he's very mm. poor. And then okay. the, and then in the second episode, right at the beginning, it's kind of, how should I say, it? high stake, <gasps> because. What happens like at the end of episode one? He gets kidnapped. He gets kidnapped oh, whoa, alongside, whoa, shit. What the fuck? alongside two guys. It's a long story, but just oh, wow. summarize. He gets kidnapped alongside two teenagers by a very ruthless uh, Mexican gangster. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. So in at the at the That's start of episode at the beginning of episode two, that ruthless ruthless yeah. mafia gangster. Mexican gangster. He say he wanna kill them all. Ooh, like he just bring them oh to shit. a desert and wanna kill them and bury them. And you just see For what reason? reason? Because he's a <clears throat> because the two teenagers they shit on his they insulted his mother. <gasps> Don't yeah. you dare insult, insult my mother. Yeah, there's a series of in- events that make that makes the teenagers they the two teenagers they insult his mother, so he's very angry. Ouch. And it seems that the lawyer is with them, so he's gonna kill kill him too. Well, he's gonna kill all the witnesses, you mean? No, he thinks he no, he Some thinks shit. that the he lawyer is, with, he... is is associated with the two teenagers who insulted. Oh, his so mother. he wants to ki- so he wants to kill them as kill him as well because yeah. of that misconception. <clears throat> yeah, if that's oh, wow. the plot, I recall correctly because it's been a long time. And huh. but what I remember very well is that scene shows that he's actually a very talented lawyer. <gasps> because that, and because the like the guy he's gonna that gangster is gonna kill yeah, them, gonna and the lawyer just keep trying to keep trying to keep convince him. him. Yeah, I keep trying to bargain like spare spare their lives, and. He's, huh. He really is, is, and it comes from the lawyer says he want no, the gangster says he wanna kill them into mm-hmm. breaking both of their legs, uh, and it ooh. turns into just breaking the legs of each of the teenagers. That's just one leg. Yeah, it's just 
So just think exactly. about it. It's from killing, from murder, to breaking both legs, to breaking one leg. That's his speech skills. Oh, wow. He just convinced. Holy shit. Yeah. It is just, I think <clears> he's <throat> singing, he's just trying to show that he's a very, he's actually a very, he's a very talented lawyer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He has a and, shit life, but his lawyering skills are amazing. Yeah, but no one, but he doesn't get yeah. jobs. He doesn't get clients. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I think <clears> that's, that's, that's cool. what he's trying to say the beginning scene of the episode two. And huh. this throughout the season, I don't remember much. And until the end, yeah, he, he has a very shit life. <laughs> and I don't know how many Holy seasons has he been. Yes. Oh, hmm. yeah. Okay, pretty cool. That's all. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> it. Oh, there's four seasons. Oh wow, four seasons. Still going? Yeah, it's still going. Oh, okay. Breaking Bad is already finished, but Better Call Saul is still going. Yeah, Better Call Saul. Sounds is like good. somebody's. Sounds like somebody's still calling Saul. Now, Better Call Saul is actually his catchphrase in the in Breaking Bad. Like he has a very low budget, uh, low budget advertisement on TV, and his catchphrase is "Better Call Saul." Oh wow! Okay. And the, <laughs> That's a pretty nice the protagonist employ him as his lawyer. Yeah. So is he a shit client too? The <laughs> well, by that by breaking by the by the time breaking during the event of Breaking Bad. He's a yes. very competent lawyer, and yeah, he's a very competent lawyer, and he helps the protagonist a lot. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So. So. Yeah, let's switch to another topics. Yes. Yeah, what topic do you wish to speak of today? Say, originally, mm-hmm. I was gonna say Godzilla. Talk about Yay. Godzilla because. Come on, Godzilla's cool, motherfucker. Yeah, actually. So you yes, are you a big fan of Godzilla? Yeah, I'm a pretty big fan. I didn't watch much of Godzilla's movie, but <gasps> I do play a shit ton of. I do play a lot of, of the games. Godzilla of the Godzilla games. Yeah, Holy on PS2. Shit. On PS2, I play a shit Save ton the Earth of or Unleashed. Yes, Save both, the Earth both, one. both, both, both. Oh yeah, and look at you, motherfucker! Where, that's where I learned about Godzilla and all the monsters. Yes, Godzilla Save the Earth and Godzilla Unleashed were fucking great. <laughs> yeah, that's my nice. Chelsea games. <laughs> Chelsea games, yeah. holy shit. So, it's been a long time since. It's been a long time since I even touched them. Yeah, I wonder if do. I still have them, actually. No, I don't think I do have them anymore. I still have them. Oh, well. Well, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a very fun memory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you so... seen... Have you seen... Yeah? Have you... Uh, have I seen what? Like, have you seen that new Godzilla game? I mean, it's like a few years old by this point. It was on like a PS4, I think. I heard, PS3, PS4. I heard it's terrible. The really shitty one. Yeah, the PS4 one. I heard it's very terrible. It's oh, terrible. for fuck's sake! Uh, it's. I'm gonna shoot myself. Okay, I am oh, myself okay. again. I heard the PS4 Godzilla game. It's terrible. Shit. From what I have seen it is shit. You haven't seen it. There is no way to guard. Yes. Have you seen the game? There is no way to guard. Yes, yes, I have. There is no way to guard. From what I remember, you cannot guard. I don't know whether or not they suddenly have an update to fix that, but at the time, when I first saw the reviews, yes, I don't think you could guard at all. Unless for some reason the reviewer didn't press the button combination for guarding. I don't know. Didn't look like it was the case. Holy fuck, the review is really, really bad. The review is basically shat on it, my friend. Yeah. Uh, too, was bad. It? too bad. Well, too when bad. remastered for Godzilla Save the Earth, when? Like a PS4 oh, remaster. Oh shit, that would be such a... That oh, would be so and cool, actually. on Steam. <gasps> oh, that would be beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, you should buy it One for the childhood. Nostalgia. One day, my friend. Yeah, one day, my friend. One fucking day. Hey, so have you watched Shin Godzilla and Godzilla 2014? Yes, I have watched both movies. Oh, yeah, so... They were all really good. 
I prefer Shin Godzilla actually. Uh, yeah, I prefer Shin Godzilla as well, but honestly, I wouldn't really care much. I, I, I like them both equally. Not really for me. I like I way prefer <sighs> Shin Godzilla. Like if I I rather rewatch Shin Godzilla over Godzilla twenty forty. I suppose that would be the case for me as well, but I don't know. In terms of, uh, it's all right. In I terms think, of what I've, yeah, I just think that the four thing is mm-hmm. all right, and Godzilla is, is good. Oh, but you should see the next Godzilla movie. Yeah, that one. Sounds, I'm actually looks really cool. excited. You actually, yeah, you were, we're all hyped for it. I, I hope. I hope that the it actually improved over the. Issues of Godzilla and the Yeah, I, I really do hope that's the case. Yeah, I don't. Know, a part of me really th- is afraid that the movie may actually be very rushed in terms of its pacing. Like, oh, there's action here and there. Why? I'd rather to just calm. I don't know. There's a part of me that wants to say if it is too rushed, it becomes very unfocused. No, no. Why? Which is a bit. What? Why do you Again? think it's rushed? No, I. No, I'm not saying I think it's rushed. I'm saying I'm scared there is a chance it will be rushed. Oh. It's ba- it's just me basically looking at the worst case scenario here. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, I mean, if it is rushed, it would be pretty nice to see a lot of action scenes, but it would be very shallow in terms of what it's trying to do, I guess. It does look fucking cool though, so it looks I suppose like, I will still watch. It looks like the team this time is end of the world, and the monsters are god. <gasps> I suppose it's not really about oh nuclear weapons and shit. It's now well we're all gonna fucking die. Yeah, but it was, but it will look cool when we do it. <laughs> yeah. We do it. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Uh, there, there's a, there was a movie where Rodan, Motra, and Godzilla team up against King Ghidorah. There used to be a movie like that. Huh? Like, what it, movie it was, was that? In, in Showa yeah. era. Shit. What's that? I mean, I'm a good, I'm a good, I mean, I'm a big fan of Godzilla, but I've, it's been a while since I've, like, talked about Godzilla in terms of the eras. Showa, Heisei, Millennium. What's that sound? Oh, that's my chickens. It's my rooster crowing in the back. <laughs> okay. Like he is like the chicken coop is right outside my window. I see. If I turn around and push away the curtains, you can see my chicken coop. Oh. Which is a bit sad because my rooster technically crows like almost five to ten times. <laughs> see? <laughs> I might as well fucking push to talk this right now, just, no, 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 just no. to, you it's know, fine. shit him up. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's fine too. It's really funny to hear it in the background. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, look at you. Yeah, look at you, you city boy. Never seen a chicken before. Rarely. I don't, see, Rarely. I don't keep. I don't keep chicken as pet. Like animals. You. I don't keep animals yes. like you. So, yeah. Anyway, I was gonna animals say, here. in Showa era, there's a movie about Godzilla. <laughs> Ghidorah. King, Ed- King Godzilla, Godzilla, there's Godzilla beating the shit out of King Ghidorah with like yeah, but he works together all the with other Rodan and Rodan and Motra. Oh, which one was that? Hmm. Using Showa era. That one I cannot remember. And also, I must say I haven't watched all of the movies. It's a bit hard to get on, get them. No, but, I, but I, re- I also don't. But I remember some of the titles well. Like there's one about. Godzilla fighting some monster. There's one where that's literally a... all of the movies. Godzilla fighting some monster. No plant monster. Kind of a fucking plant monster. Oh, a... Giant oh, plant was... monster. Godzilla. Godzilla versus Bal. Yeah. How do you even Biolante. pronounce that fucker's name? Biolante. Biolante. Is that really I how think... you pronounce his name? I think so. Biolante. <gasps> a scary name for a scary plant monster. And there's one about pollutions. Like the monster, if it don't. Oh my it. god! Fucking Hedora. Yeah. Hedora. Uh, that's a. I can, you mean can, the what? The, yeah, yes. I can name the, it all day. I can name all I the can movies. Name it all day. I can name all yep. the plot of like all the premise of the Godzilla movies all day. Did you just pronounce premise as premise? Premise. Holy fuck! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Phew. 
I, I thought I had to go all f like full grandma Nazi on your ass, but it seems I don't need to. Yeah. Ding. Okay. So, yeah, like last. What are the movies? Like, two weeks ago. Yeah. I seen a video about comparing. It's not comparing. The title is just start out say. It starts out say. Mm -hmm. Uh, why Godzilla twenty four things better than Shin Godzilla? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty that's a pretty scary statement because Shin yeah. I thought because a lot of people thought Shin Godzilla was a masterpiece for what it was. Yeah, from what I see, I people tend to prefer Shin Godzilla over twenty fourteen, but I'm fine with different opinions. So I'm going to check it out and see what this guy has to say. Maybe he's doing a a very deep analysis about it, like why twenty fourteen is better. And what did you learn from him, my my good sir? No, he's not doing a deep analysis. It's a fucking. Oh well. It's a fucking shit clickbait. analysis. It's not shit. <gasps> I think it's clickbait. It's clickbait bullshit. Like, Oof, uh, click, clickbait bias bullshit, where he just he just give a very like a very, a very brief. Not brief. So like he's a very opinionated, very biased. What should I say? What what is the word like? It's very nonsensical reason for why Godzilla 24 thinks better. Well, can, can you like uh, reiterate uh, to me what his reason is, so I can okay. I, I can judge for myself. So he he says the Shin Godzilla soundtrack is lazy because it has tracks that is isn't like the persecution of the masses. What? Okay, so I'm a bit confused by this. Okay, do you know persecution of the mass? The Godzilla, Shin Godzilla main team. Yes, I do. Yeah, so he says that Godzilla, the Shin Godzilla soundtrack is inconsistent because it used, uh? because they use, sometimes it uses the track soundtrack that isn't looks like, like, it doesn't, like, shows the like, hopelessness of the situation, like the persecution of the mass. And then, like, there's sometimes there's like jets or something else, like a bit more rock. So he thinks he thinks it's inconsistent and lazy. And then sometimes the movie. Wait, 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 reduced... wait, stop, stop right, stop right there. So is he saying the soundtrack is inconsistent because there's different kinds of sounds in there, or is yeah, it because of how of... the sounds are used? No, different kind of soundtrack in there. So he thinks it's lazy. What no, the no, inconsistent, fuck? Inconsistent. Lazy is for another reason. He thinks it's lazy because it reused the old Godzilla soundtrack. Like the iconic but, Godzilla tracks, the movie reuses that it. Has... And wait, he so what? Lazy. Is he fucking... Igno so wait, he's ignoring the reason why they're using the original soundtrack. Yeah. Because, you know, it's he fucking thinks... great. <laughs> no, that's it's a pretty great. stupid yeah, reason for my part. And, and for some reason, he say it's lazy. What? I am so confused. And the part about inconsistency, I'm a bit, I'm still a bit confused. I'm is it in terms confused. of how the, no, is it in terms of how the soundtrack is used in the movie? Like, no, he just maybe in this because, scene. No, he just said because this track exists. Like, why is this soundtrack, like this track What the fuck are you it, talking it's not, about? It's a different genre and he thinks, wait, why is this exist? This makes the whole soundtrack inconsistent. That is so stupid. You need to understand soundtracks in f shit like movies are there because they are there to help enhance the tone of what is happening. So if there's a part that's super sad, we're going to have a sad song, a song with a very sad, deep, and mellow genre to it. If there's something super exciting, it's going to have super exciting music to it. How in the flying shit can a movie with so many different tones, like Godzilla, from the lowest lows to the highest highs of beating Shin Godzilla, how can that movie be as good as it is if the fucking soundtrack is in is consistent? It's consistent in terms of one these set of instruments and this tone. His argument is I wanna say uh, just one example. that is utter nonsense. This is just an example. Because it almost sounds as if he also forgets that there are many other movies out there that at the very least have different kinds of songs in general. And don't tell me your mic is muted or something. <laughs> Sorry. I I'm muted again. Okay. 
Did you at least hear what I said? Yes, I hear. I heard what you say. Yeah. And yeah, it's a very, it's a very shit reason. I don't know why you can come up with a reason like this. And there's more examples. I if people I can give you, yes, that's what, just what. What, one what are these examples? <sighs> okay, so he says there's nothing. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to the Shin Godzilla plot aside from people trying to destroy Godzilla. He doesn't mention the teams. That's the fucking or... plot. I doesn't mention the teams. He just say this movie is people fight like people trying to kill Godzilla, and that's it. So it's a boring movie. Unlike Godzilla that's 2014, what sh- which is... that's what Godzilla 2014 was technically about, trying to kill a giant monster, trying to stop it or something. I mean, yeah, there's the human drama, which was the most fucking boring part of Godzilla 2014. I'm okay with the human drama of Godzilla 2014, but it's a bit boring. Shin Godzilla, at the very least, is a bit more... How should I say The point is, Shin Godzilla is much more than... uh, It's it's much more about people trying to destroy, trying to kill Godzilla. And he's arguing that that's not enough? No, no, he just says... No, he says Shin God. He says there's nothing happened to Shin Godzilla because it's just people trying to kill Godzilla, and Godzilla came. Godzilla came out, and people kill it, and they succeed. That's it. That's why he, he's trying to say it's nothing happened. Unlike Godzilla 2014, which has a lot of things happening, he's like he's trying to he's like making. But Shin a Godzilla lot of things technically. No, no teams. He doesn't that is. Teams, oh, no that sounds like a. That teams. sounds. Like... That sounds like yeah. He sounds like he just made a terribly disgusting straw man argument about Godzilla's uh, Shin Godzilla's plot. Yeah. Because as we both know, there are a lot of themes going around. Like anyone who watched Shin it, Godzilla, like any other who watched it, can anyone who paid attention more. to yeah. it. Yeah. That's there, there, just another I example. It is more, and it's fine. I think. I think it's still fine. That's such mm-hmm. a shitty video on YouTube Axis. But mm-hmm. what what more like the most bad like the final the final trigger is why <gasps> the final trigger thing that you make me question this video is why does it get one point eight million views on YouTube? No no no, how many likes does it fucking have? Just if half you remember it's just half. That's not oh, enough. Good. That's, that's not enough. Good. That's not it. Okay, then let's it's get it to three quarters. <laughs> It should get like. You should get one tenth likes. Yeah, that's no, all. You should, should get no get. likes. <laughs> or, or no likes at all. Yeah, but but I just get half the half the likes and it gets one point eight million view. Why does this video get so much view? Ouch. Like this, like he gets he gets so many things. He like he makes very he wrong intentionally mislead. I don't know whether he's intentionally or not. He just mistakes the audience with misinformations. And like shitty analysis, and then this Ouch. video get one point eight million views. What? We live in stupid times. So we and I I show it I show it to my friend, and he says maybe he's trying to get more views. He's trying to like make sensation a like sensation. Mm, uh, he's gonna yeah he's gonna. Mm, he's true. trying to get more views and <clears throat> sorry. Funny. Yeah, true. Yeah, so... In which case, does that mean the people who hate Shin Godzilla just aren't paying attention? Like him? Uh, nah, that can't be. <laughs> I don't know. No, that was a joke. That I think was a joke. Just, I think it's just that who doesn't pay attention. Yeah. yeah but... I mean, some people do have legitimate reasons not to like Shin Godzilla, no, it's I fine. guess. I, I'm fine with... It's a fine different opinion. Like, if you think... Like, if you think the yeah. Godzilla 24 thing is better, that's fine. But it's just that yeah, that guy, the that video is just very misleading, and it's not yeah. a very it fair or like a not very neutral analysis. Yeah, and it's a very bad rep. It's a pretty terrible misrepresentation yes. of yeah. the people who no, not just of Shin Godzilla, but of the people who have legitimate reasons not to even like it. He makes it in the grand scheme of things. He makes it seem as if people who don't like Shin Godzilla are fucking idiots. That they're going, eh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that, the, the soundtrack is so fucking weird. Mm. Sounds oh. like a whi- Based on what you say, he sounds like a whiny guy who, I guess, 
He seems to. It's almost as if he can't. Is yeah. It almost as if he can't even take high art. Godzilla, Shin Godzilla is not high art, mind you. <laughs> but he, in a sense, when I say that, I meant he cannot really take the idea of themes, the idea of the artistry behind what the movie is trying to represent. Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Uh, there's a. Oh shit! We I think we just drummed up. We just drummed up drama. I think he's coming for us now. Let's go hide in our bunkers. Yeah, in the video has been <laughs> a few years old, and I don't think he's gonna see this video. But if he sees, yeah, it, I then suppose he's not gonna see. Then fuck, <laughs> fuck that shit. I don't care. Oh, fuck it's it. a very bad video. And there's there's a guy, <laughs> there's a guy yeah. who made a response to that video, and he just shit on that entire video. So. Oof, yeah, okay. you don't need to like. It's good. Wait, who is that, this guy? Can you can you link him to me later? Because I don't think I've ever seen that video. What? Which yeah. one? Can you the add? one who re- who uh, responded? The the, the, res- the response. Yes, the response. Oh, okay, I was. I was can linking you link to, to me you. later? Yeah. Or at the very least, put it down in the description <laughs> of the video. Right, that... Nah, let's start. Uh, yeah? well, maybe I should do that. Yeah, I should do that because that video doesn't get enough views. Like that shitty video gets one point eight million view, and the response get less than ten thousand. No, less than one hundred thousand. Holy shit, that's it's not enough, man. Sad. Yeah, that that oh, video wow. is really good. It's like debunk, it debunk everything the the what, that, so he, that asshole he, says. What, so, he, <laughs> so he's like a pseudo scientist debunker or something? Uh, no, he's just oh, trying to. Cool. <laughs> he's just trying. To no, no, use... I mean that's that's not what I fucking meant, man. <laughs> like he's trying to mm. he just responds like. Every every bad point that that asshole make, he just like uh he dis- rebuke, he deconstructs it. Yeah, deconstructs it and that uh re- rebuke it, rebuke it. Uh, rebuke. Okay. Yeah, rebuke it oh, wow. and says, yeah, he just every every bad point that asshole make, he just rebuke it and yeah, it's I think oh, wow, it's a very cool. good video. Like it just exists to like it seems it the video exists to right the wrongs of the world. Like, or like, like, like the rocks of the world, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> His video was so terrible. The entire world was corrupted with sin, and yes. that was why he had to sacrifice himself to rid that sin off of every one of us. He yeah, is making a video. the Jesus of Shin Godzilla. <laughs> he made a video to change Jesus. the sins of us human. <laughs> the the sins. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a good. What a nice man he is. Yeah, but it doesn't get it. He doesn't get enough credit because the video again is less than one hundred thousand views Ouch. that's the yeah. saddest part of it all isn't it yeah i still don't know why that shitty video get 1.8 million views because it drummed the contra- controversy drummed the controversy oh so people you believe, noticed it you believe in my friends i do i do believe i do yes i do believe he might as well just been doing have been doing that or it could honestly just be because he wanted to put his opinions out but everyone noticed it and went what the fuck is wrong with you and shared it around just so other people could shit on him. <laughs> Who knows? This sounds funny. Share it around so that people shit can shit on him. On him. <laughs> <You> shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's so pretty stupid now that I say it. Oh, but, Jesus Christ. I don't know. It's just I think that you now that thing I think about it, you don't. It's so bad that it doesn't deserve to get clicked. The video. If you click it, maybe you are giving that guy money. Oh, what, add money? Yeah, add money. Oh, and yeah, that, is, that is true. There's, yeah. the don't There's always it. a danger. <laughs> don't click it. Oh, brother. Yeah, this, that's a warning to all of you motherfuckers listening to this. Don't click on that video. We warned you. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, yeah, now what? <laughs> is that all you have to say about Godzilla? About the uh, fact that there was okay. someone which <laughs> Yeah, then because I watch a video and I'm get so I get so mad, I get so baffled by, you, by you the got, views so... and by it exists. Oh my god, you were so triggered. You you couldn't even contain it. Yeah, but I just come I come down now. But I still cannot get over the what? fact that it gets one point eight million views. I doesn't dis- like, I don't know why Holy it shit. gets so much views. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Just that. Something is wrong with the world. All the YouTube algorithm. Je- 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 Jesus died for our sins, but it <laughs> seems even that was not enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> what happens to you today? 
I haven't done with my part. Nothing, nothing I'm fucking to happened you. to me today. Yes. But, Wait, this but recently. As, as, if you, as some of you listeners might have known, I am a very avid fanfiction reader. I love fanfiction. Fanfiction is sucks. good. Fan, fuck off, you piece of shit. Like you can't even fucking well. read properly. Like fanfiction has well, very issues, I heard. Yes, fanfiction is a. Mary Sue. Yes, Mary Sue. Mary Sue's are. Li- I will come to believe Mary Sue's literally originated from fanfiction itself. I would not be surprised if that were the case. And that's, that, However, that's what I learned. I, I learned that Mary Sue is very common in fanfiction. Yeah. However, I do believe there are a few writers in fan- who write fanfiction who might as well trump any writer. Uh, most writers, most of like the young adult fiction writers right now, they can trump them very easily with their writing style. Holy shit! And I do, and I and I do believe, uh, if you want to be a writer in the future, fan fiction is technically a good place to start. It doesn't help you in your grammar or anything. You have to learn that yourself, but it helps you make situations. Fan fiction gives you a setting. It gives you characters. Now you have to use them to create a setting. I mean, sorry, not for fuck's sake, to create a situation. So maybe in the future, if you want to write, you're you're more okay with the idea of making new situations up in your head. Something like that. Some new unique situations. So here's what happened. You don't read fan fiction. So I will come to believe you will not give a shit. But I love talking about fan fiction so fuck you here is what happened i was looking through the toho f- fan fiction archive of fanfiction.net and i stumbled upon this nice little fanfic that i tried reading quite a while back ago like a year ago i dropped it immediately because it was fucking boring but i thought okay i'm gonna give this guy a chance i started reading it wait that reminds me i of read something. a little Hold on. For fuck's sake, what is it? <laughs> that reminds me of the time I fucking dropped the Ojomi manga and I give you a second chance. But I drop it again during the second chance. Oh, for I fuck's hate sake. it even more. <laughs> you hate it even more. <laughs> oh my god. You hate it even more. Oh anyway, shit. Anyway. Go oh on. fuck. <laughs> it's another topic. So, he- yeah. so here is. He- okay. So here is what this fanfic is about. It's about this original character from the outside world of Gensokyo. If you if you guys don't know Toho, you, you might as well have to read it up. It's about this character outside of Gensokyo, who at first he is a thief. He knows a lot of parkour shit. And for some reason, the story emphasizes that he is a Christian. I don't know why at first, but let's keep going. He one day sees i guess yukari just you know moving around the place maybe she's observing the outside world or some shit and through his amazing parkour skills he chases after her catches her i I guess if i remember correctly who who is she who is she catching chasing no 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 she's she's not the one chasing the original character is the one chasing the 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 thief christian parkour motherfucker he's a boy or he's a man or a guy a guy. guy A guy. Um, I don't know whether I, I don't even remember his age. Shit. I think I skimmed through that part. Fuck. Okay. In any case, he catches her, but I guess she escapes through a gap before that. Who is she? And he enters the gap. You, I thought I told you. you fuck. Son really? Of a I don't remember. I didn't hear it. He sees Yukari, y- Yakumo Yukari. Oh, wait, observing wait, the out, maybe observing the outside world or something. Maybe she's just visiting the outside world to look around or some or some shit like that. Maybe it's her vacation. I don't know. Okay. He sees her, and he thinks to himself, "Oh shit, what the hell is that?" She disappears into a gap, and I guess he gets very interested in her. Not in that way, but I guess he just wants to like find out who she is. Yeah. And so one day he sees her again. He chases after her with his amazing parkour skills. Okay. Technically catches her, okay. enters the gap with her, and gets into Gensokyo that way. Nice. This is very standard original character Toho character shit. It's gonna die. It's always it no, it's always like this. 
It's always a man, or rarely a woman, getting gapped by Yukari into Gensokyo, and then suddenly their life starts there. However, there is something very insidious with this fucking fan fiction. Remember the fact that I told you he was a very the, the original character was a very devout Christian for yeah. some fucking reason? Yeah. I don't know why, but Yukari thinks it's a good idea for him to establish Christianity in Gensokyo. And the worst thing is, it's not a it's not a very it's not a very casual thing at all. Because this guy, this original character, is vitriolic he's so devout he almost becomes evangelical in terms of how he talks about hold religion on, he on. can shut up about it why is it what is it why is it patriotic i never heard of that word what? before it's vitriolic vitriolic what the hell is that word very I never heard of it. very toxic i guess I, if if that is the how only, do you spell that's the only that word shit? i can think of very toxic in how he does it how do you he's spell very, that word like okay in the first few chapters there oh, is a G Marissa is there. Marissa is, I guess, looking at him. He is at this point trying to create a crucifix. You know, the thing that Jesus Christ was crucified on. Yeah. The huge cross. Yes, yes. I, I don't know, know whether or not your mic is on or not. And Yukari is there as well. So as they're I guess as they're I guess like watching uh him do like create the crucifix, she uh Marissa decides to make a joke. About, about the cross. Because the cross looks like a plus sign, right? It looks like the mathematical yeah. symbol for addition. Yeah. She makes a joke about whether or not their, their god, the, the Christian god, is a god of arithmetics or something like that. Okay. It's a pretty funny joke. I like that joke. But for some reason, the writer of the fan fiction decided that the best response by the main original character is to become so mad that he literally starts fucking swearing at her. I just... It's so uncomfortable, honestly. At least Marissa didn't get killed. My favorite whole character at least is Marissa still alive. Didn't get killed. <laughs> at least she's still alive. Yeah, at I least she's you are, still alive. Yeah. I know you are going Holy to say shit. the TV is going to kill no, he, her. No, she's not fucking... No, he's not fucking... No, she's not going to... He's not. I don't think he's going to kill anyone. Okay. But it, it's so uncomfortable, too. Because here's the problem. When... In Toho Project, there is there are religions, of course. There's Shinto, Buddhism, and Taoism. Those are the three main religions. The problem is, in most of the uh, official work, the religions are pushed to the side in the grand scheme of things. They're not the main focus. The Except main focus for is the character. Uh, Hopeless Masquerade. Yes, <laughs> if I remember correctly, that I that was like the religious wars, religious wars or some shit like that. That part is at least important, but they don't really ever take it too seriously. Uh, they don't on. fucking swear each other for you know saying blasphemy. It's not that like it's not like being sideline. It's sideline. It's more like make, most of Toho lore is up for interpretations. It's up for interpretation. Yes, right, like, it's not very. I don't know. If... I just prison prisoning that in a vague way and up for us to think about it. Up, up yeah, I, but I don't know. I don't think about it. Yes, even but. As I've said that, even in the official work, the religions are not really taken too seriously. They are not, they're not there to be preached upon. Instead, uh, think of like, I guess, Forbidden Scroll. No, think of the uh, print work. Forbidden Scrollery, Wild and Horned Hermit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about the others. Uh, the, the religions are there, like Shinto and shit. Yeah. But they're there not to be, not because they... Uh, the people writing the story is preaching it to the reader. No, they are using the mythology. The for some reason I wanted to say mechanics. No, like just the myth, the legends of Shintoism, maybe a bit of Buddhism and Taoism, I think, to enrich the story. You know, like all these different yokai and shit. That's very. I suppose that's more or less like a. Is it a Shinto thing? Shit, I don't remember. But it enriches the story of Toho Project. Why the hell did this guy, who is writing this fan fiction about some virulent, some angry, some almost toxic Christian guy, why did he think that was a good fucking idea to make him that way? 
Because he just, he won't shut up. He cannot. He is incapable of shutting up about the fucking Lord. Mind you, I'm a Christian, but my faith is slipping away. So, and in my opinion, you should never be this preachy to people. It's not, it shouldn't so, be that preachy as like, it's not just Christian, it's like every religion. No, every, yeah, every religion should not be, yeah. It's, kind, it's very, just it's not calm, annoying, it's yeah, rude. Just, I think it's rude. Yeah, yeah. Just calm down with your religion. People will gravitate to it, whether if, you know, Actually, now that I think about it, that's a pretty bad way of saying it. I'm, I, mind you, I am not a theologist or anything like that, so don't listen to me about religion, I guess. I'm, I, I don't have a religion so, as well. Very atheistic, I guess. I'm ag- agnostic. Oh, yeah, agnostic. agnostic. Oh, yeah, agnostic. Yeah, sorry about that. So, immediately, this fanfic starts off at a very bad foot. Mm-hmm. Mind you, stories can make you feel uncomfortable if that's what the writer is supposed to do. But I am under absolutely no obligation to believe that was what the writer was literally looking for when he wrote him to be so angry. It, I don't know. I, and the weirdest thing is, even though Yukari tells him to establish Christianity and tells him maybe he should get some followers, he himself goes, oh, I don't want to actively look for followers. They will come to me or some, some shit like that. And I'm just there going, then why the fuck are you so angry? Why are you so mad? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Now, mind you, this guy actually seems to have a, uh, a sort of a backstory, I guess. Flashback arc. No, there is no flashback. There's just the idea that he once had a family, the, his family or some shit like that. Okay. And that's why he's so, I guess, angry. But even then, he just does not sell me the idea that he is that kind of person. That's the problem. Uh, and let me think what else was the problem with it. Other than the fact that it's uncomfortable, other than the fact that we have a preachy piece of shit as the main character, later on in the story, I don't know, some... What is your opinion of people? Okay, just imagine this. Imagine you're reading, like maybe. Okay, you don't read fan fiction. Let's imagine a doujin. Okay. Yeah. Kodo, are you there? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's imagine you're reading a. Let's imagine you're reading a doujin, where this guy from the outside world appears in Gensokyo. In just a few days, he has, for some reason. The reflexes, the strength, the technique, the defenses, all the stats needed to defeat a stage five boss. Wait, he got Are all, you okay what? with that? How does he suddenly get all I know. the skill? Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? How stupid do you think that is? Because that is a, because think about it. Because in this fan fiction, I don't know how, I don't know why. At a certain point, he visits the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Something happens. I fucking don't want to remember. And I guess he gets into some sort of a fight with Sakuya. For some reason, he gets into what looks like... The story writes it off as he gets into a tie. But he might as well just say the fucking truth. He fucking beats Sakuya. Wait, first... Does he have any superpower? Yes. No, the only thing he did was literally use his fucking parkour and his reflexes, I guess. His instincts or some shit. And, and he beats her. What? What the heck? Mind you, it is not, it's not a Danmaku battle. I have to mind, uh, my, uh, tell you that. It is not Danmaku. No, how is that? He but just you're... fucking beat... I don't know I why the that. writer thought that was a good idea. That's a very... That is so stupid! Where are the what? narrative stakes? First of all, there is absolutely no reason I will ever believe someone from the outside world, or at least someone, just anyone outside of a superpowered, like, group of people, would suddenly enter this superpowered group of people and beat them. There is never a reason for me to ever believe that to be the case, unless, unless they went through some crazy training regime, went through hundreds of chapters of just 
training and then beat them. That would make sense to me. But here's this guy waltzing in. He doesn't know Danmaku. He has no magic. He just beats her through sheer acrobaticness, I guess. Okay, pause. And pause first. We need to we need to let the yes, we need okay. to let the audience know the context for for what what is why is this so baffling? Okay, uh, I go for it first, I guess. So the characters in to in Toho they are all incredibly overpowered. Uh, yes. for instance, mm-hmm. Sakuya, the guy, Can't... the character that the girl, is, the girl, the <laughs> girl that this Sorry, guy can beat. She can manipulate oh, time. That's a very overpowered yeah. skill. She can manipulate time. And you're just telling me and that the a fucker normal guy, beats him. Yeah, a normal guy who can just parkour and shit. He gets brought out to a Isekai ish. Like Isekai brought he broke to a, another world and he can suddenly defeat a woman who can a girl who can stop manipulate time, time. Stop time and shit. Yeah. And you know, wield knives like it were nothing. Whoosh whoosh knives, right? No, here is here is the official excuse that Sakya gives for losing. It was that she was not she was underestimating him, which is still a stupid fucking reason anyway. Yeah. Because in the story, it is established. And mind you, I might be strawmanning this a bit because I'm starting to forget uh, what was the actual words for this. In the story, it was established that. A lot of fighting goes on against Sokyo, especially I guess between the religions. I guess, you know, they they gotta get followers one way or or another. But if that were the case, there would also be the idea that perhaps people have gone to other other different factions. I guess, like the Scarlet Devil Mansion, Hakugyokoro, or hmm, or maybe Ante as well. They would have fought them as well, and maybe they would have, I guess. I don't know, got some fucking benefits for beating them. So I am under the impression that Sakura has fought before. Whether or not it is through Danmaku or Sakura, through hand-to-hand... Uh, Sakura, Sakura has, yes. has fought before. Like, every, like, every in every superpower... In the every fighting games, yes. With, like, every character with powers and abilities, they are like very strong. Like, very unusually... Yeah. Powerful, like too, like it's too overpowered. Like each of them. Yeah. And you like, need to remember, Sakyo like, so much so mm-hmm. that hold on, first. so much so they will, that it creates a power imbalance in in Gensokyo. That's why Damak the. Uh, that's why Damaku was Damaku created. Ba- yeah, Damaku is exist yeah. because the spell, there's a yes, very the, big, the spell card system. Yeah, very big power yes. imbalance, and they make a spell card system mm-hmm. to make it more peaceful. Mm-hmm. Yes, like make it more how less chaotic, more lawful, orderly. Yeah, true. However, you also need to remember, Sakia might be a lot older than she thinks because she always keeps stopping time and shit. We could uh... assume after all these fucking years, she will have the instinct and reflexes to beat him in hand-to-hand combat. Oh, she's a how did she mate. lose? She's a perfect. Yes, mate. how did she lose? I don't know. How did the writer think it was a good idea to make that the case? It's so stupid. Now, the mind you, do, the, the only character, the only character that I am okay with with any like of these original characters beating is Tsuruno, because Tsuruno no, will no, no. always even be beaten Chirino. by everyone. <laughs> no, no, even not, not don't say Tsuruno. Even Ru or Rumia or maybe any stage on boss. The, the the I don't believe that. That guy has any chance against any character or any regular yokai or stage on boss. Maybe he can only beat. I, mean, I, I suppose that is true. Yeah. <laughs> like those, yeah, I suppose like that is true. Everyone is so. Like, uh, the the core the targets they have so much. Like, so much Power. abilities, yeah, magics and things. And you're saying this normal guy who can parkour can defeat him? Can defeat those yokais? That's yes. Kind of, that that's is impossible. what the story puts itself. Yeah, that's. It's I don't, I don't such it. a stupid fucking story. I cannot comprehend it at all. No, there is one part that I was okay with. In an earlier chapter, he meets Suika. And of so course, after a while... Suika? No, 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 no. There is a <laughs> point where... Su- no, there is a point 
where Suika suddenly goes on some sort of, I guess, a rampage or something like that, and he tries to escape from her. Okay. He cannot fight her because he she's so fucking strong. Mm, so much power. But after one minute of escaping, she stops and tells him, because he has survived her for one minute, he's fine in Gensokyo. Because in truth, she was on a rampage because she wanted to see whether or not he could survive her and thus survive Gensokyo. That made sense because he was struggling throughout the entire escapade. He was that trying does, to escape. He was trying also to run makes away. Sense to me. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. He has a lot of acrobatic skills. Yeah. He has a lot of dodge. He does a lot of dodging. He literally strains himself to that point. It makes sense. He has a reason to survive because he gave it his all. Yeah. But in the Sakya fight, it didn't even sound like that was the case. He just went, ah, I know where you are going to come from. Kick. Oh, I know where you're going to come from again. Kick. And I'm just going, what the fuck is this? It's so odd. These kinds of stories, I, I would always say it like this. This kind of story is a story where it's the writer trying to suck his own cock. Why would you say that? Most of the t- because most of the time, I've come to realize, or at the very least, I've come to uh, conceptualize in my head, most of these original characters have a self-insert sort of idea to them. So is this, do you think this is a self-insert story? I cannot, I, w- I want to say no, but there are always chances that the writer unconsciously put himself in the shoes of this character. Oh. And of course, if you are a writer who is fucking shameless, you wouldn't care. You will go around and beat up everyone. Who cares? I'm gonna... F- Fuck everyone. Shit, that reminds me of that disgusting fucking... So, you... Basically, you really hate this Christian fan, fanfic, tall fanfiction. Is that kind Not of only, yes. Fiction? Not only is it uncomfortable because of the fact that it's so oddly preachy, there's also the fact that, well, the character doesn't fucking shut up. Why is Christianity here when all the other religions are not that fucking serious? The thematic dissonance is so weird. There's also the problem of, well, him beating up really powerful characters. Like, it's fucking is nothing. It? So he, he does, he's not only beat Sakoya, but he also beats many other characters, you are trying to say. No, he just, no, he he's beat, the just moment Sakuya. he beat Sakuya, I, I just gave up. I was like, fuck it, I am not reading this shit. <laughs> no, I, okay. I, you cannot get me to read this, ever. I have, there's no excuse. Why would you do this? Okay. And, and you know what's the weirdest thing? What? I went to the reviews. And? Uh, in in fanfiction.net, it's not called comments, it's called reviews, but most people treat it as a comment section. Yeah. There is a very, there are a few very odd reviews. I cannot really confirm this myself because I'm not going to fucking read it again. Okay. But somehow, because this is a Christian based fanfic, Somehow, fucking Lucifer comes into the fucking story? How? And then there's some big-ass battle in the latest chapter, which was posted, like, three weeks ago. And I'm just going, for fuck's sake, stop. Where is your fucking restraint? (laughs) I am so dead. There's one one, one lesson I've learned when, when reading bad manga. Is that just let it be? Yeah, there, there are people oh who enjoy God. it. There are people who enjoy it. And like, those like people example, are wrong. Like for example, <laughs> for for in the case of Ultraman, I can I can come up with a lot of like reasons why that Ultraman manga is is bullshit. But there, <laughs> but it's still ongoing. And there's English. It's local actually English, and it's still still serializing. And and anime adaptation is confirmed. And someone in our club likes it. Let's just what let the it be. Our club likes it. The, the twins. One the twins. Oh no! I trusted them. No. The twins. I'm sorry. That was a joke. That was a joke. To take it seriously. Like, uh, like, oh, brother. Like, not just. Uh, there are multiple examples, and Ultraman is just one of them. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how can these, uh, these, things are still serializing. It means there are people who are still reading them. Truly, they are we popular. live in the worst time. We live in the worst timeline. I'm gonna shoot myself now. Yeah, it's now. fine. It's fine. There are, there are still enough good things happen. Like ah, yeah, true. There's still good things happen. Like for example, um, let me think. Uh, I got my new care package today. 
What is in it? What uh, care a package? Of good things. Uh, it's it's uh, manga. I bought. Oh sure, that's pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of lots of nice manga. But not be yeah. hentai. <laughs> of nah. course not. You're not gonna. You're not fucking buy hentai. No way. You're not. A, you're not the kind of guy to buy hentai. No, I do. You're the I'm kind of guy to buy hentai. Actually, I'm interested in buying hentai. Actually. Actually. <gasps> hentai. Just to, like. <gasps> Don't say last, here. <laughs> last year, last year I, I last year during my visit to Japan, I bought a hentai book just to throw my friends. And I indeed <laughs> bought what? it to my friends. I really buy it to my friends. Yeah. Holy and shit, why like, didn't you give it to me? No, it's not... I just showed no, them. Don't I give just, it to me. I don't give me any hentai, please. And when they visit me, I just say, hey guys, look, I bought this book. And, and you <laughs> showed them a hentai? <laughs> yeah, I just showed them the book. I said, hey, look, I bought this Holy book. Holy shit. And, and, and everyone's like, what the fuck? I just tell them, I bought this book to show you. Holy shit. Do you still have the book anyway? Of course, the book is not it's not cheap. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, it's I a volume. I, I like... It's a it's a volume. Oh, it's a collection of the artists. What, of various artists? Or no, just it, one, one artist? artist. It's just compiled into one volume. So it's not cheap. That's pretty, mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> Must have been a nice bargain. Uh, nah. Was it? Uh, it's not... Oh, okay, it's not I don't get it in the bargain thing. Oh, well. Like, in the... Uh, there, there is indeed a, a bargain, a bargain being where you you can buy a hentai dojin for just one hundred yen. Oh, I oh, thank God! It. I thought you, were, I thought you were gonna say used hentai, and I was like, oh my fucking god, no, no, no the uh, uh, hentai bargain <laughs> being like, like just in the basket, there's a bunch of hentai dojin, and you can just grab one for one hundred yen. And if, if that if you see that one, is that so you like. interesting. What the yeah, fuck? you can you, you can just you can just flip through all the dojins and see if you wanna buy one for. Just 100 yen. Holy crap. Yeah. That's actually pretty hilarious. But there's a, there's a lot. A th- but there's a lot. So it's going to take some time. If I look there's a it. lot. But they're, there's a lot. But they're all shit. They're not, not to really, my taste. It's just they are more than <gasps> they are old. And oh, maybe, just old stuff. Yeah. It, it, because they are all second hand. So maybe... Oh, no. They yeah. are used hentai. No! <laughs> ah, so this, this sounds so weird. I'm sorry. Continue. And maybe if you, maybe you're lucky, you see a a doji you that you have, a doji like, of an artist you like. that you like, yeah, and it's selling for one hundred yen, <laughs> then you get lucky. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds nice. Well, weirdly nice, I guess. Oh, we're gonna get demonetized for this if we ever get monetization. This, <laughs> these few, like these few podcasts where we talk about sexy shit will never. Ever get any money? What is have it... we done to ourselves? I, told I don't you know. There's. A... Fine. I don't know. There's always the idea that. Huh. That is true. Maybe we should look at the guidelines a little more. No, I, I never read the guidelines. I, I, I never read I the guidelines that, as well. What I know is that every YouTubers hate YouTube. I am not fucking surprised. Yeah. YouTube every... is in a very weird shit show right now. Uh, every YouTuber, they, they, every YouTuber is not happy with. Whatever things YouTube put out, and yeah, and you're nothing. I'm just <laughs> saying this. You're nothing. We're, <laughs> we're so tired. We cannot say anything anymore by this point well, in time. I, I mean, you have have you finished your fan fiction stories? Are you going to continue? Wait, which one? Just one, the the Christian one. Have you finished your story? No, I don't. Uh, I suppose. Oh, by, huh. the way, by the way, it's been one hour. Yes. Eight minutes. Oh, well, you know, talking about fanfiction takes fucking time. Oh, Especially when I it's think... one that's fucking shit. I think that's all we Jesus. were going to say. Yeah. yeah to the I guy think... who wrote the fanfic, if you ever find this podcast, fuck you. That's all I have okay. to say. <laughs> okay. Let's finish the podcast, motherfucker. Hold on first. Oh, yeah. You're going... Am I going to put the description? Link to the description of the videos. Okay, maybe I, I should. Usually see you pu- I usually see you put the description and then I change the su- description because no, the link I fucking to the video. hate past tense. The link to oh, the, video. the link to the video. I, yeah, don't know the, the... I don't know the video. You, okay, yeah, I'll you, post you, it. You can you post it. Man. I will post the, the one that the guy rebuked every statement that the 
asshole says in his video. And I know. will not put and I and I will not post a link to that shitty fanfic because no one should read it. Even though it is actually pretty popular for some stupid ass fucking reason. I forgot to say that it is actually a pretty one of the higher rated uh or at least more favorite stories out there. What the hell? Which is pretty shit. Okay. I don't like this timeline. Then change mm -hmm. timeline. Change to the Stains, the Stainsgate timeline. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Stainsgate. Okay. Stainsgate was pretty good. I think we can stop here. Yeah, we can stop here. Okay. So, okay. So guys, thank you for listening to... Erratic Symposium, episode 7. Yeah, 7. 7. Remember. 7. 7, 7, 7. Ultra 7. Ultra Man 7. Mm, okay. Ultra Man 7 was a pretty good Ultra Man. Goodbye. In any case, yep. See you guys next next week. Uh, oh, wait, are we going to have on, a podcast? I <gasps> almost forgot. After this oh, episode, there will be most. a bit higher too because I'm going to vacations for weeks, maybe two to three weeks. Yeah, you yeah. better get some. You better give me a souvenir. I, no, I know you're not gonna give I me a souvenir. I'm not going to get souvenir for anyone. It would be so. It would be so fucking great if you got me a Toho Dojin and mailed it to me. But I know you're not gonna do that. That's so much of a hassle. And besides, no. If I were to go on a vacation, I will never buy anything for you too, because I don't know what you want. I, I, what would you want anyway? <laughs> well, I also have no idea. Like when people tell me to get souvenirs for them, I say no. I don't know what to get for you. And I also don't need someone to get souvenir from me. It's fine. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, in any case, so, okay. We have a hiatus for a few weeks or so. Yeah. Two, three weeks, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I guess after this, we won't really be talking anymore. Uh, so, uh, Why? enjoy your holiday. I don't know. We always, we always just start talking here. We literally shut up for the entire week and then talk again in the podcast. Oh, okay. You don't remember. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unless, unless you're interested in talking multiple times, like through WhatsApp or some shit like that. Well, we haven't really talked to WhatsApp for like a long time now, have we? No. I also don't like yeah, WhatsApp anyway. <gasps> uh, who prefer, cares? I prefer Discord. But Discord was pretty shit to us. Just a voice chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a voice chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In anyway. any in any case. See you guys next yeah. few weeks. See you guys in the next few weeks. Ciao. Bye.